Indeed. Hello and welcome to Mark's Allotment Diary. <laughs> it is the 17th, Saturday, 17th of September. So we're now on a Saturday, the 17th of September, uh, in one of the main show, which is the Moor House of Seaton Burn. This show requires three leaks. Um, I've, I've sort of heard on the side of caution and kept the best to last, so to speak, but um, I've got a choice of five to pick from here, and I need, as I say, I need three for the show, so uh, I'm going to start lifting them. They're all at 21 and a half inches around, uh, around the centre, you measure around the centre here, um, and hopefully I'll only need to take two flags off. So the more flags you take off, um, the idea is you, you've got to get your leak, the button has to be the button has to be six inches or less so you need to be as close to the six inches as possible um, otherwise you, you, you're taking the, the, the girth off so the, the, the less flags you take off the better so I go I start lifting it so you're just easing it up Let's take the roots off and then we'll take it outside so that's one it's a monster so we'll take them outside and we'll start getting them washed off so the leaks have been wrapped in a capillary mutton um, and what that does is it blanches them to the six inches so this is a cut in a six inch strip and it's blanched the leak um, the base of the leak to make it go white for staging um, I've been measuring them every week for the last, well since I planted them out really and as I say, these are sitting at 20, 21 inches around so we'll see what they're like um, now I'm, I'm going to take the just the loose of the the soil around so that I don't when I do start spraying with the hose to clean it it doesn't jet washes so that's it there so it's a case of just Starting back and getting all washed off there as best as possible at the minute. Just get the thick of it out. What a cold day! <laughs> so, towards the end of September, and it looks like we've got a clear day. And uh, we're going to get a nice warm day, but the mornings are just starting to get cold. Right, so we'll come back to it in a few minutes. Um, once, once I've washed all the roots off, and I'll show you how I strip the flags off. This is just a knit needle, by the way. This is a plastic one as well. And what's that used for? Knitting. <laughs> no, it's just to move the, move the roots out of the way, just so that it can get in and um, give it a good wash out without, without damaging it. So you don't actually stick that into the leak, no? No, no. So this leak looks like it needs two flags off. I've measured it, um, just roughly. And this flag here is obviously raggy, so I'll just give it a split and just peel it back. Just get it off as best as I can at the minute. Um, as I say, this one's already split, so I'll take it off while I'm over this side. Flip the leak over. And strip the other ones off there. And 
I took with the flags. Um, I'll get the tape measure on it. And as you can see, this one here is measuring five and three quarters. So, on the other side, you can feel where the button you can feel where the button is and if I take another flag off that this side sort of drops down a little bit further if I take another flag off there it'll go too long so I think that's it. as much as I'm going to get off this leak without um, sending it over the six inches as I say if it goes over the six inches it's no good so you've grown a leak for a year and it's totally wasted but um, I'm happy with that five and three quarters um, I've had the tape measure on the centre of it Just for a rough guide. So I've stripped two flags off, it was 20 inches, and it's took an inch off each flag. So the more flags you're stripping off, the smaller the leak's gonna be. So five and three quarters by 18 inches is around 150 cube mark, so yeah, I'm happy with that. That'll do for the day.